All right, so I brought the males out. Let's see. They're definitely outgrowing the hides. I don't think the lighting's all that well in here either. Hmm, really warm from being on the heat tape. You can see he's got the little head marker markings there. And just the, the bright gold and yellows that come out of them is just unreal. A lot of the, uh, the blushing marks in there, as well as on the head. So, and I think this one may have. This one is. These two here, or let me zoom out some, are from different clutches, but the same father. We've got a little bit of the peppering pattern. This light just doesn't do them justice at all. They actually got a little bit of a yellow tint in the belly too, which is kind of odd. They're definitely not yellow bellies. Let's see here. It doesn't really pick it up at all. Let's see, uh, that one there is just really gold yellow with like an orange tint in it. And then over here we have this is, let's see, that kind of give you an example of the coloration difference anyway. So that was much, much brighter yellows and golds than this one here. This is actually a uh, Het Albino, 50% Het uh, Azanthic. So we'll have to raise him up to prove him out. He's got some, some wild belly patterns going on there. He's a fiery, ooh, fiery little male. They all tend to get a little fiery when they're young. But yeah, you can definitely see the difference in, in the two there color-wise. And this one here has got pretty much more of a, a normal type color than the uh, vanillas here. Of course, they're like pissed because I moved them. All they want to do now is bite. He's been like that since I got him. He, he's always been a little fiery. But, you know, they do that. It happens. The more time you put with them, the the tamer they become and some of them you couldn't get to bite you for nothing but uh, yeah this one here I mean it's just smoking if I had a better light on these guys you could really really see their color their color and their color as you can tell with the, those high golds in there and then you got the the normal looking browns that you see here. I've actually had a few other breeders tell me that these look a lot better in color than uh, a lot of the vanillas that they actually produce and have. So They're really nice, I mean We'll raise them up in another couple years and uh, breed them back and see if we can produce a super. If we produce a super, then we know they're definitely the new line of vanilla. And if, you know, find out if it's uh, recessive or not. The guy that I got the, the father from, he has created a new line of vanilla, so he says, and he calls them Thunder and Lightning. And he, he believes that's the, the line we had here, so. Yeah, 
I guess there was a possibility that they could be some new type of fire. So I guess it all depends on what we produce with them. Cat, get out of here. She's always wanting, always wanting to get involved with the snakes. So, uh, like I was saying, we'll figure it out when we reproduce them. If we get a super vanilla, then we know it's the new line of vanilla. If we get something uh, white or leucistic or whatnot, then we know it's it's not a vanilla. It's more towards the fire. Or if we just get more babies that look the same, then we know we just got really pretty babies. So these are the males. I think the the coloring on them is a little better than the, especially this one here. I think that one may be going in the shed too. This guy here is just smoking. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, just leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. It's gonna get you, kitty. It's gonna get you.